good kitten internet. It's been a while since I've recorded one of these, sorry about that. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have noticed I have a bit of an avoidance issue when it comes to the end of games, because I don't really want to see them in. And there's not a whole bunch left at this point. That was a large amount of frame drops for no reason. Cool. Hmm. Unfortunate. Anyway, uh, hi. How are you doing? Uh, I'm recording this the day before this goes live. So today's the 20th of January? Tonight, I should say. Only recording one. I really don't feel like recording any of these right now. I'll probably start feeling like it again once I start playing, but I don't know. I really don't like the way the optional bosses work in Wild Arms 2. And that's what's left. I mean, it's that and grinding. And I'm probably going to need to grind for these optional bosses. So there's two optional bosses left, and I hinted at it before. It's Engel Mois and Ragugo Orgel the same two optional bosses that were at the end of Wild Arms 1, and it just dawned on me now that I haven't actually looked up to see where they're at, because I don't remember anymore. Um, let's see, Ragu... Where's Ragu at? Ragu's at Agil Mineshaft, and gives nothing but a Sheriff Star, so... Moise, on the other hand, also gives nothing other than force unit. Uh, hmm. Okay. Agile Mineshaft it is, I suppose. Let's do a first try at Ragu. Uh, let's see, Agile Mineshaft is located... Actually, not on the map. That's weird. One moment. I'm gonna look this up because I don't want to constantly have issues like this. Oh, right! I... My coding settings where I can pause it. Right. So, the Agile Mineshaft... need to write those crest caps along with any other crests I may have. I don't think I have any more. I should really look up to see what crest caps are left in the game. This is personal. Or this is item job? No, this is personal skills, which I want to take a look at because I've leveled up a few times. Sorry, Bukiti's out and about. Okay. Yeah, it's actually time to use Restore HP. Actually, no, I want Critical. I don't know if Critical actually works on um, Magic or not. But that's fine. Um, I don't know what 
do I do with him? Try that. Okay. Well, that's not the reason why I'm here. I'm here for quest graphs. Your arms. Oh, I probably need to reload. Now that I think about it. 30 whole gela. How can I ever afford that? I mean, I might as well, right? Might as well max out everybody's stuff. with arms, but there is not. Wait, is this one of the cities that doesn't actually have a cross graph shop? It is, isn't it? Alright, fine. First day of interaction with the zone in a very, very long time. the only way we're going to be able to fight Ragu is to slow Ragu down to a very thick, meaty sauce. More molasses speed of sauce. It's a bad joke. Yes, I'm aware. Oh yeah, how's my luck doing? Oh wow, I'm still rocking really good luck for most people. Neat! Uh, Maravil's really the one that I need really high luck on right now. Okay, Agile Mineshaft. That is one of the places that is accessible via the Hello Pyramids, right? Yeah, I think that's right. Means that's right here somewhere, isn't it? At the very least, the pyramids are here.
Unless if it's actually the mine that's inside of this dungeon. That could actually be. Or inside of this town. That would also explain why I can't find it on the map, so that actually seems fairly really likely. Was correct. My memory did in fact serve correctly. of damage as you do. One thing I do like about the Wild Arm series is the ability to be able to whip at any time. By the way, that doesn't continue. Wild Arms 3 has a horrible equipment system. And I don't understand why they did what they did. It just doesn't make sense to me. Ooh, that excellent. I was surprised. Crab brains. Oof. I didn't realize there was even anything in the game that did that as a normal. Yeah, it's a good idea. Look at Kill yourself. Crit that mantis. I don't even know if I'm going the right way, by the way. So not doing very good at actually getting those crystals out. There it is. Alright. Save state. Oh, this is the safe point. Darn it. This has been a day. Today was the day of the inauguration of uh, the 46th President of the United States, Joe Biden. Not particularly who I would have chosen of the Democratic contenders, but anything's better than. What are you doing? I do not trust you. How am I dodging all those crystals? Ridiculous. There it is. Alright, I know I have a real save. So push comes to shove, I reset the game and not reload my save state. Ragu has a few predictable. See, Ragu um, has a few predictable things that he does. Also, you notice unique battle thing. I think every Wild Arms game past Wild Arms one has a unique battle thing. Okay, so what we need to have specific members of the party. We absolutely need Maribel. I think that's what we need. Alright, and Angle Moist, or um, Ragu uses the same whatchamacallit, um, same attack on the first round every game. 
So what we need to do is very quickly become resistant to fire. Mega Berry himself. That's the stage that we're on in this game. Maryville is going to be casting Sleep. Because we're going to hope that we can sleep this thing. Tim is going to first aid. Because Ragu goes first. First aid. Look at how much damage it does, and that's half. So that one shots the party. Yes! Okay. Okay. So now, we move Miracle out of the party, and Tim out of the party. We need Cannon and Brad now. normally use this ability, but we're going to use it this time. I think we're going to use Justine. Going to mini carrot himself. Cannon. Oh boy, this is where I need the save state. He's going to shoot the one shot that we have of a really good item. ordered this by attack. It would have made more sense. I'm going to choose Sky High. What we want is to see double damage. We did not see double damage. Okay. I'm going to cheese this because these bosses suck. Basically, what we want, so the power boost has a random chance of doing double damage. What we want is Viper Fang to do double damage, because then it does 50,000 damage against an enemy. And that makes Ragu a lot easier to deal with. Ragu is not pleasant. of it actually working. Also tempted to just save the item. So I only get one Viper Fang in the game. There's only one total. Ah! 
There we go. There's 50k. Ashley up to condition green. Lock on. Sky Eye. The summon like I don't know if I've ever seen this ability. So satellite from orbit blows up everything. Cool. It's not gonna do that much damage. I think a normal attack might have done more. Alright, no longer asleep. Cool. Cannon and Brad need to use slow down crests. Oh wait, no. I'm gonna use dark ability this turn. So I'm keeping Ashley with the fire ring, and the reason for that is because you can't change equipment on Ashley once he goes into access form. So you don't need Starry Row anymore. You're getting Raftina, I guess. Oh yeah, I didn't even need to use the carrot. Eh, it doesn't matter. Access. Oh yeah, I still need to use the lucky card. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay. One trillion degrees? What? That's another fire attack. Okay. I guess I ended up causing the order to glitch. Because the first two rounds of... This are supposed to be predetermined. I guess sleep doesn't stop that predetermination. Interesting. Well, I guess you're getting fire rings after all. So basically, what we need is to get him to slow down enough where we can actually heal ahead of him. That's my goal. Where are the fire rings? Unfortunately, only the first two rounds are predictable. So, this might end up being a dark attack, for all I know. Slow down. You can lucky card. Red. Yep. It's unpredictable. So this is what Black Nova does, for reference. Notice Cannon's just dead. There we go. Like I said, I'm chasing it. I don't care anymore. I am getting a little tired of playing this game, to be honest. Okay, lucky card. Please let the slow down. Also, notice how low the frame rate is right now. It's ridiculous. Okay. Sorry, I this is really complicated. And it would not surprise me if this is going to be the only boss I fight this video. Dandirum. Away. Dandirum. Back. You're here. On 
honestly thinking about just manipulating it where it uses the fire and then kind of thing. Bottom fire. Bottom me. It's in random spots because reasons. Okay. So the effect that it's referring to are all of our stat buffs, for reference. That's the reason why I'm not casting buffing spells, is because these have this tendency of, of dispelling all of your stat buffs, which means Ambrosia was useless. Oh, I needed the healing anyway. Please slow down. Mad Lucid. Gunblaze is fire element. Mad Lucid is non-elemental. That's the reason why we wanted that. Okay. I want sleep. I mean, also I think a character would like sleep. Big Berry. Big Berry's not enough. The heck am I doing? Mega Berry. Smithereens. That's an instant death. effect. Sweet, that's fine. It's gonna dispel Marivel's extra buffs along with Ashley's, unfortunately. Okay, it looks like it might be affected. Okay. The reason why is that I can have Tim heal up. Hannon can use a slowdown crest, hopefully actually hitting, and Ashley can continue pumping. missed and it's no longer asleep. Reloading because it just dawned on me that Tim isn't equipped with any guardian stuff. That's the reason why I didn't heal all that much. Hiram and you can go with an Economicon this time. You're not getting hit. You're getting Justine. 
and you're not doing damage. Talisman. Sure. This is it. First aid. Slow down. First aid. Oh, that's much better. Slow down. Please actually hit. Nope. Let me guess, you're no longer asleep. You are still asleep. Okay, I was not expecting that. Everybody's at full hit points now, although Luke has really low on force. many hit points left, actually. It only has 99,999 hit points. Alright, Scud does more than the previous one. You're still asleep. Cool. Lock on... Uh, do you have enough to slow down yet? No, you need 67. Oh, crap. Never mind. Mini carrots for Loka. Lots of mini carrots for Loka. Honestly, I probably should have used the full carrot now that I think about it. Who is angry? I think I'm going to try to kill it. I think it might be in killing range. Ability, branch sap. Mm. Might be a really bad idea. Impact bomber is non elemental damage. I need to lock on. I completely forgot. Right, this is not going to be enough damage. So I need preemptive mystic mega berry. I'm 
Impact Bomber again. Okay. Loka should survive that. Does 4,600 damage. Because she's like, hmm. Fine. I guess I'll Mystic Mega Fairy. All the hit points. Okay. Not doing all that much damage to it. Okay. I don't know why I'm constantly hitting save, but okay. Sam, let's try this whole saber thing again. All right, it's another impact bomber. Loka should survive. Again, it's, I'm hanging on by the skin of my teeth. Oh, I did come blaze by accident. So used to using that. But wait, why did you heal? I don't understand. Same impact bomber, that's fine. Still up. Saber. That does more damage. Still up. This isn't gonna work, is it? Oh, don't do that. Let's try to slow down. Wait, why even bother? I am going to cram berries down our throat. So it will use Impact Bomber the moment it drops below... ...quarter of its impact. And it does nothing else, if I remember right. So that means that this is now predictable. Also, it means I probably don't need to equip those rings on Brad anymore. Probably just unequip it so I can push things in place. <sighs> Been 38 minutes and I'm fighting one battle. Scud. I'm almost at last burst level. Like I said, I'm gonna impact bomber every turn. Actually set condition green. By the way, this is the DD that plays for the final boss. Instead of the normal lightning battle game. Oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't need the stupid lucky card because I give no XP or go on. Alright. So for reference, Lucky Star does everything. Just like in regular. Except it doesn't increase vitality or response for some reason. Is it actually be better than Necronomicon? It is a Necronomicon. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever noticed. So, I mean, let's be honest, once you have a Sheriff Star, does it really matter what else you do? Uh, you know? I think we're gonna try for both the random bosses. Or random. The optional bosses that are remaining. Please give me help. 
because why not? So we need to go to Angle Moise. Angle Moise is... I don't know where Angle Moise is. Anyway, I'm saving. Yes, saving. Because screw that, don't want to go through that again. Nuh -uh. this time. Sorry, I'm using my desktop as well. Oh, that's where I'm going it says, right? I remember now. Really? It's that same guy again. Are you going to kind of me again? Grab brains. You know what? Fine. No more crab brains. Bosses. I'm trying to hit the crystals so I can actually heal without wasting items, and I don't know why. I'm at the end of the game, I have all of the items. I really don't need to worry about these things. about angle noise is that it's mostly non-elemental damage which means we can't do a whole bunch about it and in fact there is one attack that we just can't do anything about Adding some more personal skills just to try to help anything I can. Right, can't. Did not gain any XP from this. Cool, on the plus side, I'm doing all of this before being level 60. That's not normal for this game. I'm definitely still a lower level than I should be fighting this, but... Let's go to Golgotha. Does that mean we could have actually gone back into the prison? Hot. Okay. Oh, scapegoats here. the prisoner. Right, that's where we started at. Right, I remember now. Just save the staining in case it closes itself. Oh, we actually can redo this area. Neat. I don't think I knew that. Although this kind of feels familiar. Maybe I did know that. Those were definitely closed off before. I remember running in there and they were closed, but okay. 
Anyway, we're here for this. Angle Moise also. Or Angle Moes? Angle Moy? I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce it. Also has 99,999 hit points because this game is ridiculous. Demon King. Was the other one, which is the master of the beginning and the end, of course. Just a wee bit of a big boy. Okay. needs the sheriff star badly. There's confusion thrown on just for fun. Clear chime. There's my clear chime. Are giving him an Economicon. It's gonna be the best sorcery ever. Okay. Oh, I forgot to actually. One moment, I will be right back. I forgot to refill those crest caps. You know, the ones that didn't do anything before? <sighs> this video probably should have it as two separate videos, but too late, I'm committed. This might be just a really long video. It'll make up for the lack of video yesterday. My yesterday, your day before yesterday. I also need to reload the arm. And maybe we'll do some tweaks to the arm. Yeah, if you can't tell, we basically never use Ashley's arm. Unfortunately, I have to actually go to the Armsmeister to find out the ATP of everything. Um...
mower is the worst. There. It's like that. So part of the problem that I'm encountering is the fact that I don't have the full Libra, which is the equipment that allows you to be immune to all side effects. Because I didn't go further into the final dungeon. And I don't want to. So this... Perfect. Okay, there's no might about this. This is gonna hurt. Alright. This is one of those situations where we basically need to constantly have Loka faster than Angle Moist. That's the whole thing. Because with Loka going slower than Angle Moist, that means we're reacting every turn. That does not work. Force charge. You are going to start using slowdown. Loka, you're going to... So, something I read up about after the fact is that there are a few other things that I can miss there. Just not very many. They're all accessories. Notice accessory on the Holy Grail, the rings, but also the fork. And that's it. I didn't equip people. One moment. star, which if I remember right also makes you immune to all status effects, so we could have actually been immune to uh, confusion on everybody. Unfortunately, we're just going to have to deal with the fact that Brad won't be immune, which sucks. Brad's getting the necro. Okay. I... this game been interesting to people? I mean, I don't like the end part of the game. It's been fairly obvious for a long time that I really don't like the end part of this game. But I don't know what I can do about it, because I want to actually finish the game, dang it. Disaster will always happen on the first round. First three rounds for Angle Moist are predetermined. I basically have to have Brad not hit hit my hand. Like that. Okay. And because I need slowdown to work. Without slowdown working, this does not work. So yeah, Mystic Life Orb is apparently a high heal which is a full heal for our party. So Luke is going to be fluttering around quite a bit on force. I'm going to cheese it until it works.
wish there was an item I can use to make you resistant to status effects. That would make things a little easier. This is the round that I'm going to get hit with a 7th moon. for this is that 7th Moon will kill Lilka, even while defending. There's nothing I can do about that one. Notice it did 6,000 damage to Brad. You have to get slowed down. Thank you! Okay, this is now possible. Okay. I think this is doable. Mini Carrot Ashley. Loka, you're going back to the pulling all the people bits. Right? Yeah. So this should trigger before Rango Moist goes. Please, in my morphing power, actually. Yes, okay, good. Angle Moist is actually slow enough we'll look at this first. Now this is viable. Because there's a trick to Angle Moist. One that people didn't know. Wait, oh wow, even Brad goes faster. Oh, he dropped his speed by 250. I guess it wasn't that much higher. Poor Bomber. does gobs of damage. That's fine now, because now we're healing first. So this is the point where there's no longer a predictable spread. Uh, Because 
basically what it boils down to is if the enemy uses seventh moon, Wilka dies. I can't defend against seventh moon. That's the problem. This will heal up Loka, but Loka has the lowest amount of hit points. If the enemy is having moons, Loka is going to be very, very dead. Also, eat a maxed out red gun, please. Nice. Great disaster I can deal with. Loka can survive a great disaster. Although, that's not good. That's really not good. Put the great time on Brad. One moment. Brad, don't use the Necronomicon. Have a great time. You're going to be using the time for the entire rest of the time. I do not want everybody confused. Thank you very much. So, Mad Lucid. Boost Railgun to the face. Mystic, Life Orb, Orb. I said I'm cheesing this because I'm. I don't want to deal with this game that he's going through. So I'm already at the point in the game that I don't like being at, which is the end game. I don't like the end game of Wild Arms. Everybody's healed up. We're gonna get boosted to the face for roughly nice, nice damage. Aura Bomb. I can deal with Aura Bomber. Aura bomb Bomber is the best situation I can be in. Okay. Yes, Brad is at best luck. That's important. Lucid to the face. Move Canceler. Pingle Moist is not immune to Move Canceler. They forgot, I think. Alright. Canceler. Right. And that seventh moon, Luca's dead. See what I mean now by this is an unfortunate strategy? I I can't do anything about that. All I can do is make Luca invincible for a round and have her heal after. This time it's great disaster. See, it's. Mm, I don't like that. And now that Loka is going after, I can no longer. Um, what you call it? Heal after the fact. I just need him to not do seven. That's what it boils down. I don't need to heal. This is a good round to swap characters. I think. We'll find out if it is.
Sheriff Star because why the hell not? Lucid. So here's my plan. I'm going to try to cancel Inglemoise's move twice per turn. The idea that I have. Yeah. The idea that I have is basically if I try it twice per turn on two characters with best luck, maybe it will go again. And then we only have Ashley going the entire rest of the combat. Which would be really nice. Nope. <laughs> It's healing itself. Because that's the other thing with Angle Moist. It has the ability to heal itself. Because why not? Okay. Um, Ashley, I actually want you to do a regular attack. We're going to do the double canceler again. I need Ashley at 100 force points because this is the battle I'm actually going to be using his abilities on. have the move cancelled for once. Pretty please. And great disaster for the face, and now I'm confused. That's not ideal. Moist is not is immune to sleep, if I remember right. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. Angle Moist is actually immune to sleep. Void effect is fine. That's just dispelling me. This is the reason why we can't quick ourselves, by the way, and it's the reason why buff spells basically don't work in this game for any of the optional enemies, because they all have the ability to dispel you. Um, my original strategy for fighting Angle Moist was based off of the idea that if you're invincible, you can't be hit. So I would keep somebody with um, Raftina equipped and making themselves invincible repeatedly and basically just having them survive long enough to be able to build up their constant parameter up over and over and over again. Not somebody was Brad for reference. It's because Brad can survive every attack once. So I would equip something that would give him a regenerating ability on it and make himself invincible to heal all the way back up again over and over and basically just hope that it don't get dispelled. It took for freaking effort. But it's one of the few ways of being able to do this with a single character without worrying too much about things. Because we're actually going to use last burst. Which means I need to come back. I mean, technically I can use Tim. enough with the power boost, it's going to do a huge amount of damage. Um, red. Try canceling. It hasn't worked yet. Oh, no. Actually, 
Ashley needs force points. Because Ashley is going to be eating me. Damage. Alright, need to not 7th moon this turn, please. So this is what Final Burst looks like. And it does a huge amount of damage. Notice that Ashley is at force point 50 instead of 0. It's because force point up on, on arriving at death. Same with all of the other stat up abilities. That's why I have them on Ashley. This will fully heal Ashley again. Brad giving the mini carrot will give Ashley 75 force points, and if Angle Moist attacks with something other than 7th Moon, hopefully, like Aura Bomber, Aura Bomber is a great plan, Ashley should be at 100 force points and go straight back into his old form. Oh, I'm 4 force points off. Dang it. Uh, close, but not quite. doing. That must have been a power boosted attack, because I should not be doing that much damage right now. I got dispelled. Cancel? Maybe move cancel just doesn't work. Or oh, regen. That ain't most of my progress, but... Okay. This is a problem now, because Loka's down to 18 force. That's not enough. So, how do I want to do this? Well, this part's happening. Not going to use it any other time. Let's go. goes Mighty Morphing Power Ashley again. Now you're starting to see the strategies of constantly, like, dropping his force points, raising it back up, dropping it, raising it back up, over and over and over again. Please just cancel once. No? Okay. Or a bomber, on the other hand, is good. Or a bomber is its weakest attack. Also a light element attack, if I remember right, but it's not worth equipping for it. Lucid. Orb. It's already gone an hour and fifteen minutes. Oh well. I'm barely doing that. characters that oh Ashley's not at best luck but um Brad is so Brad shouldn't get hit too often Brad lucid boost a railgun to the face Luca goes invincible 
and the reason for that is that Luka's not able to heal in this round. effect. Annoying, but I can deal with that. Alright, nobody injured again. I'm gonna try canceling the... I remember being told that... I really remember being told that Angle Moist is not immune to cancellation. I mean, I can tell that Angle Moist is immune to sleep, because when it knocks back like that, that means it's actually affected by the attack. We saw that in the animation, whereas before, we're not seeing any knockback from, like, Canceler. I think we just try the Status Lock, but Status Lock will get dispelled is the problem. Oh, you know what? Oh, Strike Canceler. So it seems like it's specifically Miracle's abilities that tend to not work properly. Or not be blocked properly. Cancel? It worked! And it did, like, pitiful amounts of damage, but it doesn't matter, it worked. Yes! Yes! You know what? Just attack. We don't need the Mad Lucid. We want you to build up force power. Alright, Ancelor actually does work the way we want it to. It might not have a high chance of success, but you know what? Totally worth trying over and over and over again. Let's go. Gotta love that attack. Angle Moist's regular attack does next to nothing in damage. I don't care about the power. Yes! Get cheesed! At this point, I might just want to equip on... You know what? No Dandyrim. We're not doing that anymore. We're getting Justine. I mean, if this was a 100% chance of success, this would be hilarious. I know it's not. We've already missed once. But if it's a high chance of success, that makes things a lot easier. So especially since Ashley can regenerate his own. So I need points, that's awesome. Counterattack me, yes. Make me go higher up in force. Okay. That missed. Great disaster. I didn't equip the chair of star on Marvel. Well, can't equip anything on Marigold. Whoops! Honestly, just damn Dyron. Don't need anything else. Just max out as much as I can. Where's my first start? I am equipped it, I know. That's bottom. Okay. Punch. Punch. Cancel. Let's cheese it. Then power boosted. Didn't work this time. And seventh moon, which will kill Marigold right? and probably Ashley. Do I really need Marigold? 
I mean, the fight doesn't give me any XP, so it's not like that's gonna help. Yeah. Disaster. Fine. This time we are swapping with Loka. We're gonna need healing. this time because reasons. Yeah, I should probably equip Raftina because I might get hit really nasty and... You know, you know what? I don't need it. Just means fine. So unfortunately, Brad's not going to max out max damage this time. Final burst, or last burst. Brad, you're going to immediately mini at Ashley. Loka, you're going to orb, orb, please do double damage, that would be great, that might have been double damage actually, mini carrying Ashley to get him up to 75 force points, Orb to heal everybody up, and hopefully I don't get seventh mooned. All I need is to just not get seventh mooned, basically. That is not seventh moon. I was getting confused. Ashley's gotten confused. I think that's actually okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. The reason why is that the moment Ashley goes, he's going to um, get his force up to 100, condition green, and cure himself of the status effect. So that's fine. Brad, you can boost a rail gun to the face. Lilka. I think we're gonna Ambrosia anyway, just in case if Anglemoise does something dumb. Yep, that's fine. Uh, Ashley attacked Brad and missed, which is normal. Hit bonus on attacking friends are really low. Ambrosia. This is the reason why I ambrosia just in case of Ashley can get enough force points. Great disaster. Ashley will cure himself of confusion. That's fine. Okay. We're going back into access mode again. Brad is going back to punching in the face. Wilka is going to go back to orb one last time. Basically, what we're going to do is we're orbing until Angle Moist does not do a damaging attack. At that point, I swap Loka and Maribel around, and we continue. That's the gist on this combat. I have no idea how many hit points Angle Moist has left because I'm not keeping track of it. I am too tired to do so. Definitely should have made those two videos, but uh, just consider it both videos for the week that haven't been uploaded yet at once. Oh, and he's dead. Force unit acquired. That's it. That's the sole reward. We have defeated every optional boss in the game. Every one of them. Force unit for reference. Doubles force increase of the wear. Force unit is useless because the boss battle to be useful for is the one we just did. 
We did Ragu first because Ragu's share of star is very useful against Angle Moist because of the status effect blocking and so on. Whereas Angle Moist's accessory is not actually all that great for Ragu because it doesn't block damage at all. And we really didn't need, to, we're not fluctuating our force power constantly like we were before. All right. This, it's run really late. I am late tired. I'm just going to... I don't even... You know what? I don't even need the rest thing. It's not worth it. Refill gunpowder. That's all I really need. And then an actual save. And we are stopping for the night. I hope you've enjoyed this in a bit. Um, I think I'm going to go grinding next video. And then the video after will be the conclusion. Or next two videos might be conclusion. That I seem to remember the final dungeon sequence being really long. We're basically at the end of the game. I'm going to also check bestiary. I might need to go do things related to that. Hope you've enjoyed listening to that. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!